I see cannabis first as a medicine and then as a recreational substance for sure. Millions and millions of smokers and, and cannabis users around the world, they think in Holland it's all legal, marijuana is legal. But actually it is not. Uh, when I moved here many years ago, I actually discovered, to my surprise, that cannabis in Holland is not legal. It's merely tolerated in some form. Cannabis is tolerated in the possession and the consumption from the general public in order to separate it from hard drugs, in order to allow people that want to come in contact with cannabis to do it in a safe, controlled environment without coming in contact with hard drugs. This was the reason why in the 70s the Dutch government thought let's allow a few controlled shops with a special license to sell cannabis. We have coffee shops in 1976 where we have it, you know, to, it's, it's to for the public area, for the safe, safety of the public area and, and for the health issue. So if a young kid wants to get high, he just gets cannabis, he doesn't get involved with the other drugs. And if you go to the illegal selling point, uh, it's very easy for him to get involved with, with cocaine or, or uh, fake ecstasy or whatever pills or, or you know. Days, house dealers sometimes did sell actually soft drugs and hard drugs. That's, that was why it was so easy for youth to come into connection with hard drugs or soft drugs or all kinds of drugs. And this separation of the markets, that's the good thing. Because before you had the, the, the permit system and the coffee shops, you had all kinds of strange uh, people and they were selling weed, hash, opium, heroin, cocaine, pills. So it's not that it's legal or illegal. It's a bit strange because normally within a law you might expect there is a legal or an illegal situation, but this is uh, allowed under certain circumstances. The Dutch government kept allowing coffee shops to expand and to create a whole coffee shop industry, but they never really regulated the supply of cannabis. So what is legal and not legal but tolerated is sale of small amounts and consumption of cannabis but production of cannabis stays illegal and growing cannabis in Holland is illegal uh, only it's tolerated in very small amounts nevertheless growing cannabis is illegal supplying coffee shops with cannabis selling cannabis to coffee shops is illegal in Holland so this all created a black market logically coffee shops have to find cannabis somewhere if they have to sell it to the public so the backdoor problem was born it's a problem that was created by the system with which coffee shops were allowed to operate from the very beginning. And it still goes on today. They still didn't manage after 30 and more years of coffee shops, they still didn't manage to solve the problem of the back door. So I think the politicians should be more pragmatic because if you can sell it and smoke it, then you should grow it as well. Because where do you expect it comes from? It's not mana from heaven falling in your hands or something, that's not the case. If two guys are growing grass somewhere, a couple of plants, six plants or seven plants, the, the police or Justice Department in the Netherlands will call them automatically by law uh, organized crime. So that's the first thing I want to say because otherwise people who don't know much about it will think that we're all big criminals behind the screen and that's not true. If it's all legal, the growing, then, then the criminals are out of business. And that's a good thing, that's what they want. So that's where they should put the, the effort, the back door. A lot of politicians think that hey, if you close coffee shops, cannabis consumption will go down. No, of course it will go up because you get much more uncontrolled selling points. Our neighbor countries, England, Belgium, Germany, shows that, you know, in France, that they have more youngsters smoking than here. Well, we have coffee shops here. Explain that to me. If you go to uh, Paris and you go to a suburb, you know, you want to buy some grass, you have to go in a really criminal area, you know, and, and, and maybe you come back with coke instead of grass, you know. And you can't check them if they sell healthy grass or clean grass or not. You can check coffee shops if they got clean grass, but you can't check those street dealers, you know, like you have all over the world. Harm reduction is the key word, you know. Same government who makes millions out of the marijuana at the, the income from the coffee shops, they, they are against marijuana, you know, but they, they, they're not against tobacco or they're not against the alcohol. It's uh, quite embarrassing for the Dutch government also, because on one way they allow this 
huge tourism phenomenon to, to happen and they benefit from it, of course. On the other side, they keep arresting growers, they keep giving heavy fines and, and so, yeah, it's a big problem, the backdoor problem. There's a great demand from millions and millions of cannabis users whether they be recreational or medicinal users, to know more about the secrets behind this plant. Because this plant has been illegal for so long, and the myths and legend and the truths have been mixed up for so long. And